What up, Mugman Nation? Sorry for the extended break. I've just been touching some grass. How have you guys been? Hope you've been well. I've been doing pretty swell myself. Thanks for asking. Today, we are beating Cuphead with Crackshot. And you guys already know it's on Expert. Don't You don't even have to ask. Hopefully, I don't fall asleep during this challenge because this weapon is too easy. Let's get started. We are going to start off with the Rue Pack. Of course, it is the first boss of the game. And as soon as it starts, I decide to read some literature you know catch up on a book this weapon basically plays the game by itself the crack shot colt has been begging me to use this weapon so i need to give the crack shot colt what they want so you know they don't come after me i don't want i don't want the crack shot colt to come after me but check it out i'm able to read i take a nap i lay down i do whatever i want during this challenge because when you're using crack shot it's basically impossible to fail i even hit the secret phase because dang i'm just so bored using this weapon it destroys the carrots i, I could basically stand still the only reason i'm moving around is because of the laser beams i have to dodge those if you're ever in trouble with this game, guys, join the crack shot Colt and just, just bite the bullet and use this weapon, okay? We are now on Ribby and Croaks, and you still see me up on the webcam. I'm still taking a nap. I haven't woken up yet. Maybe I will wake up when this weapon or this game presents some kind of challenge, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. You can stand still for the entirety of phase one. All you have to do is jump over the fist he throws, and crack shot will take care of the rest. The little fire guys, they go out so easily. It just one taps them. The second phase, you actually have to move because Croaks just blows you the entire time. I don't know why he's doing that while Ruby just throws fists and planets at you. It's still extremely easy. Come on, when is this game gonna get hard for me? The third phase, I actually had to move around a little more because of the platforms, but it still is not enough to make this hard. I just hold down the shoot button. I just never take my finger off that little guy and Ruby and Croaks goes down without a fight. Maybe Gooplet Grind will be more of a challenge. What am I saying? It's Gooplet Grand, guys. Come on. It's going to be easy also. He's just a blue ball that jumps around. Let's get, let's get on to the next boss. Next boss. Next boss. Gooplet Grand. Grippy Legron, a boss of many names in the Mugman Nation. This one, you actually have to kind of play the game since Crackshot can't really lock on to moving targets that well. But alas, it's still an extremely easy boss. Maybe the Crackshot cult was onto something when they told me to use this weapon. I'm able to catch up on my sleep in this challenge. Funny enough, when I was getting footage of me sleeping, I actually fell asleep. I didn't mean to, but hey, Crackshot does that to a guy. This boss, you literally just run around and fire. There, there's nothing else to it. Like, I love to talk about my strategy how i do in the other challenges but and how i navigate each boss but guys this is it this is crack shot in all its glory look at this beautiful weapon the crack shot colt knows something we don't know guys let me know in the comments if you're joining the crack shot colt let me know if you're convinced about this weapon yet yeah, it's pretty good it's just a little boring in my opinion but hey you know what it, and one man's trash is another man's treasure you know go try it out if you want i i'm not gonna stop you Ah, yes. One of my least favorite bosses to do on Expert. Cagney Carnation himself. Maybe I'll finally awake from my slumber to defeat this boss. Maybe it'll finally give me the challenge I've been so desperately wanting. Sadly, that does not happen because Crackshot makes this boss just still super easy. Like, check it out. I hate how those man-eating plants spawn cool so quickly and they can, you know, overtake you and they're hard to get rid of. But not if you use Crackshot. Crackshot will one-hit those and they will just lock onto them and it'll deal with them in instantaneously i had no issue with the first phase and usually it's my kryptonite you know i hate it crackshot has freed me from my phase one hatred of cagney carnation thank you crackshot cool I've, I've finally found purpose in my life just from using crackshot phase two he only has two attacks the boomerang attack and the attack where he shoots his seed at you but who cares we have crackshot it's too easy let's get on to the third phase who cares about the second phase the third phase is nice because the ex planets will give you an extra jump and on the third phase you're gonna be jumping a lot but again it's it's not hard at all when you're using crack shot you can jump from platform to platform dodging any vine he creates on those platforms because you'll just never miss it it locks onto him every time you shoot you're facing left right up down it doesn't matter you could let's say fall asleep mid fight take a nap even if, if you're still holding fire you will finish him off we have made it to aisle two and we are starting off with you guessed it baroness von bonbon the first boss of aisle two with crack shot it ain't too bad as long as you can dodge there wasn't any single phase that gave me issues. I, I beat it my first try. My first mini boss was the waffle. That was easy peasy. Get, get, lo and behold, all I did was shoot my crack shot. I don't really know. I, I, that's what I'm saying. I wish I could discuss, discuss my strategy just a little bit more, but sadly, my strategy is literally just hold down crack shot and dodge. I'm not like aiming or anything. My second mini boss was the infamous muffin man, and it's not too bad with crack shot. Honestly, a, a really easy mini boss. 
but maybe I'm just getting better at this stupid muffin man. I've done a lot of these challenges. I think I'm actually just getting better at this cursed game. And then the third mini boss is the jawbreaker. I got nothing to say about the jawbreaker. I just shot crack shot. I had nothing, literally did nothing else but shoot it. That's the jawbreaker. And then during the final, the final phase, the big finale, literally all I did was I dodged the head. She tried giving me so much head. She tried throwing the head at me. I make this joke every time, guys. You have to dodge her head. All I did was I shot my crack shot and I dodged the head. There's not much more to it. There's literally no strategy. My mind is completely blank. I'm literally falling asleep. I'm taking a nap doing this challenge. That's all I'm doing is dodge crack, dodge crack, dodge crack. I'm, a, I'm addicted to crack. I, I'm in love with the crack shot cult, guys. I'm, I, I'm, 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 I'm neck deep in this. Now, this boss gave me a reality check. It really woke me up. I couldn't tell you why, but Beppy the Clown just gave me so many issues. No, you know, the first phase, just take him out when he's jerking off in the bumper car really easy, especially with the crack shot. You should the stand still. The crack shot takes out the duckies, too. During the second phase, you just dodge the roller coaster and dodge the balloon dogs and just fire your crack shot at his big old head. It's, it's, it's even easier than the first phase. This boss fight in a hole is pretty easy, some would say. And then during the third phase, you know, he just shoots horseshoes at you and all you have to do is stand underneath him and dodge the roller coaster as it comes by that can't be too hard right right R right guys right i was not paying attention <laughs> i tunnel vision so hard right there man all right, one HP in a dream. And then in the final phase, all you have to do is dodge two things. One is the penguins, and the other is the roller coaster. That's it. You only have two things to dodge, and the full fight seems really easy, you know? Like, it, it seems like a cakewalk, but apparently it wasn't for me. Oh, come on, man. Apparently, it's the hardest boss to ever exist. Oh, come on, man. I'm getting owned by the dogs. What am I doing, dude? Smacked by the penguins. Are you kidding me? That hits out the tongue. Oh. Run over by the roller coaster. Come on, where was I supposed to go there? What is happening on Beppy the Clown? I'm gonna have nightmares of these dogs, like for real. And not the good dogs, those evil balloon dogs. What hit me? But after a long fought battle, I finally conquered my fear of dogs and clowns and I defeated Beppy the freaking clown. I, I hate clowns, man. This is, why, this is why no one likes them. Oh, there we go, that took too many tries. I don't know why that was so hard with Crack Shot. I didn't like that at all. Now that we have that clown out of the way, we are on to something a little more tame. Grim matched it, which started off as one of my worst bosses and has turned into one of my favorites to do. The first phase with crack shot is, is extremely easy, you know? You're just dodging the fireballs and the laser rings he fires out of his eyes. You can parry the the, the, the third ring, you know? It's it's the same old oh, with any other weapon that, except crack shot will like lock into him. During the second phase, it, it's the same thing with crack shot, you know? You're just dodging the fireballs. And I've actually gotten really good at the second phase. The trick is you just keep moving forward and the flame guys will always go behind you. Not too bad once I figure it out in the and you know I kind of like the sound they make they go wahoo and wee -hee. hey can I get a wahoo in the comments and you know the crack shot it's the same thing you just I don't know it's not, not much else to say now I will say the final phase is the hard one when you fire crack shot what it does is if the initial shot does not hit its target it'll break off and home onto a different target Oh, please! Now, Grim Matchstick shoots these fireballs, and what will happen is the crack shot will target these fireballs, and when they're when they're hit, they break into four different fire projectiles. And this boss is a lot harder when you have projectiles flying at you from every angle. Oh, come on! The most common thing that would happen is it would lock onto one off screen, and it would hit me from above because I can't even see it. Like it's pretty hard to react when it's off screen, you know? Oh, come on! It was above me. But hey, you know me. I was able to slay the dragon save the princess and finish up aisle two let's go dude one hp in a dream all you had to do was stay in the middle who knew it was supposed to be that easy that that, that boss sucked with the, with crack shot for some reason i i didn't like that at all we are now on to aisle three and aisle three was significantly easier than aisle two i'm pretty sure i first try every boss except like captain briny beard but you know captain briny beard's a little cringe and it's kind of a boring boss so you know that's okay rumor honey bottoms is the first boss of aisle three and rumor honey bottoms is easy pickings man easy pickings look at this pip squeak man the oi 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 guy goes down with crack shot you, you just it just auto beats the first phase you just have to just hold down the hold on the fire button i don't know not much else to say phase two i get lucky i get 
get the rocket phase, which is probably the easiest phase with crack shot. Like, I'm pretty sure you can literally just stand in the middle. I don't. I actually go for the active dodge, but I mean, you know, whatever. You can, you can play the game however you want. The second attack, I get the ball attack. Uh, need I say more? It's just the ball. Third attack, again, the rocket attack. Man, this weapon is too easy. Like, you don't even have to try. Like, I'm, I'm just pulling the fire button. But like, then again, isn't that all you really do in Cuphead? So I can't really say anything. I feel like it's the same with like every weapon, except the crack shot just homes in on them. The third phase is still easy. It's still easy, man. I, I get down to one HP because, you know, I like living life on the edge and I take some risk and, you know, I I'm, a, I'm a one HP dreamer. If I don't beat the boss with one HP, did I really try, man? And guys, crack shot's a pretty good weapon. I would recommend. I don't really know what to say. I'm, I'm on like that weird slew of boring bosses now, which I do in every video. So I might just like speed past these real quick and play like a funny song i don't know let's go dude that bus saw was gonna kill me that's a one hp in a dream first try crack shot pretty good i'm getting really used to the planets right now i think i'm getting pretty good with the weapon we are now on sally stage play one of the most boring bosses in the game man every time i start editing this boss i just get so bored i hate sally stage play i hate you sally stage play what, what's a good What's a good Sally stage play roast? If you have a good Sally stage play roast, leave one in the comments. Sally stage play, more like Sally boring play. Am I right, guys? It, anyone out there laughing right now? Uh, that's, that's all I could really come up with. I really don't like this boss. I, I'm just going to skip to the end, man. I, I hate Sally stage play. Sally stage play, more like... Stupid stage play. Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, that's easy. That's easy. Only one HP to something dumb. We take those. Easy boss. Easy life. It is officially time for Verna Vermin, the second of the most boring bosses in the game. Maybe it's just Crack Shot being boring, but man, this boss just felt extra boring as I was doing it. Two lame bosses left until it gets fun. Verna Vermin and then Captain Brinybeard, and then we can finally get on a Phantom Express, one of my favorite bosses in the game. But hey, we still have to beat Verna Vermin to get there. I'm surprised this dumb rat is on aisle three. It's like an anime filler episode. The first phase is easy. It's really no different on X than it is on easy the second phase the same thing just stand underneath him or next to him and then just keep firing the crack shot the bottle caps are so telegraphed you should not be getting hit by them guys if you get hit by the bottle caps i'm sorry go back to fall guys or something this game's not for you no i'm just kidding guys this game is hard i'm trolling don't feel bad that was very mean i'm sorry if i discouraged anyone guys do not get discouraged okay you can beat this game i believe in you sell your soul join the crack shot cult you too can become a cuphead gamer the third phase does get a little harder there's more boards falling from the sky and there's more rat ghosts that come out of the cat on our first try we get down to one hp and a dream oh that got me dang it guys even the best die sometimes i you know i'm just kidding i'm not the best at this game but hey the next try we do manage to clutch it out with only one hp and a dream guys follow your dreams get one hp i don't know what do you guys think Follow your dreams, have one HP. Let's go, easy money, second try. An annoying boss, a boring boss, but we gotta get through it. The crack shot cult was onto something when it comes to Captain Boring Beard. Okay, all you have to do is shoot. That's all you need to do. Usually the trouble I have with Captain Boring Beard is that it is hard to aim at his little boring face and dodge at the same time. Crack shot solves that issue by taking the point of aiming away you don't even have to aim at him you don't have to look in his you know direction you just have to hold down that fire button and let crack shot do its job if he summons the dogs the crack shot will take care of them instantly like it'll just hone in on them and make them go boop. the squid it's the squid don't make me laugh it just squirts ink at me i what does it even do the shark <laughs> Okay, what's the shark gonna do? Bite me? No, I got crack shot on my side, man. You should be able to breeze through this boss instantly if you sell your soul to the crack shot cult and join the cult, okay? I will not be spending a lot of time on this. On to Phantom Express, guys. Sell your soul to the crack shot cult and join today. Hey, first try, baby. Easy money. First try. Let's go. One HP to dream. 
one HP injury. Guys, I have terrible, terrible news. I think I'm officially joining the crack shot cult. I've sold my soul. I thought it'd be terrible on Phantom Express, but boy, was I proven wrong. Look at this first phase. I just spam fire and I jump up and down. The eyes stay away from me. It's super easy. I don't even get hit. The eyes never even come close to reaching me because crack shot pops my little pimples. That was probably the easiest first phase of Phantom Express of my life, especially because it was on expert. Second phase, it, it no matter no matter what one I'm going to use, I'm going to have the exact same plan. I'm just going to stand right underneath his head and dodge his big bony hands. It, it's nothing special to crack shot, but let's get on to the third phase. The third phase, oh my goodness, crack shot was cracked. That's the best way to put it. I was pretty on point with my cart movement, but it was because of the crack shot that I was able to focus on the cart movement. I didn't have to aim at all. That in combination with me, of course, selling my soul to make myself better at this game while using crack shot, I breezed through the third phase like it was nothing. Shout out crack shot, man. I know I sound like a broken record, but sell your soul today. Join the cult. The final phase. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. You know, it just makes sense that crack shot would be amazing for this phase probably the best weapon to use guys i would use i would only use this weapon if you're having trouble with the final phase of phantom express phantom express more like phantom trash express am i right guys let's go did i s rank that first try phantom express easy peasy lemon squeezy baby Oh, I still got it. Never mind. King dice, daddy dice, Mr. Dice, whatever you want to call him. He's easy money with crack shot. Honestly, it's easy money with him no matter what weapon you use, but I'm using crack shot today. I think this is one of the easier bosses, you know, depending on which order you do the bosses in. I choose the whiskey troop. Easy money. The freaking rabbit. Hocus pocus. Easy money. And mango scene. Lol. I don't know. Mango scene. Lol. <laughs> it's mango scene. Nothing to say. And for the final phase, just pair the cards and shoot your crack shot at him. Not much else to say. Every time I get comments saying, bro, why don't you just hide behind the hands? It's just, it, hiding behind the hands just seems so much harder. All you do is pair the pink cards, guys. It's not that hard. Just press jump a second time. You guys got this. Come on. Clean. Easy money. First try S rank king dice. Easiest boss of my life. It's crack shot. It's, it's OP. Daddy Devil, the furriest of Cuphead bosses. We are at the end of our time worshiping the Crack Shot Colt, so hopefully he blesses us one more time. Let's finish this run, guys. It's Crack Shot, guys. There's not much to say besides dodge and shoot. It's been the way for like the entire time, except for like Beppy the Clown. The first phase is a cakewalk. You can't miss, and the Crack Shot just keeps just keeps hitting it no matter where you shoot, you know? Easy first phase, and then we move on to the second phase. Same thing. He has a spinning axe attack and the bomb attack. Just parry the bomb. Literally the whole fight, I never let go of the shoe button. Just keep going pew, 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 pew. Don't stop. You won't miss. It's crack shot, guys. If you let go of the shoe button, you'll lose DPS and lose time. And losing time is terrible because you have less time to play Cuphead and less time to watch my YouTube videos and less time to like and subscribe, guys. Like and subscribe real quick. Like and subscribe. The third phase is easy. Crack shot hits the spinning guys and the gargoyles. And the final phase, huh? Shoe, 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 shoe. Oh, come on. That would have been an S rank. I got hit at the very last second. That sucks. All good. Challenge done. It wasn't a hard challenge. It's crack shot. It's one of the easiest weapons in the game to use. Guys, if you're having trouble with this game, go use crack shot. Hey, you're, sm you're smoking crack if you're not using crack shot. Am I right? <laughs> uh, that's it for me, folks. See ya. Thanks for watching, everyone. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. We have a couple weapons left until we've beaten the game with every weapon. Chaser or charge shot next. Thanks for watching.